Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Give the mind a place to settle down in the present moment, where it can observe itself. You start by observing the breath, trying to make it a good place to stay, so the mind can settle in. When the mind settles in, things settle down inside. Everything has been stirred up as you go through the morning. There's a chance to clear out. It's like a big water jar that's been stirred up. When things are stirred up, the water can be murky. But if you let it stand still for a while, the sediment falls down to the bottom and the water can be clear. Then you can see what you've got inside. People often ask, why was I born? What's the purpose of life? Those are two different questions. The purpose of life is to survive. But why you were born? You don't know what impelled you to come here. But birth isn't something that was imposed on you. Some people act as if they were made to be born without their will. But we made the choice to come here. The question is, what kind of choice that was? Is, was it a good choice to follow through with? You get to choose. You can change your choice. You can change your purpose. Purpose, because the world doesn't have a purpose for you. I mean, there are other people out there who have lots of purposes for you. But the question is, what authority do they have? So, what do you want to make of your life? You look at your actions, and they're all for the sake of happiness, all for the sake of well-being. So, the Buddha carried through with that observation. To so could find a happiness that doesn't change, because all too often the happiness we look for is something that will change on us. And when happiness changes, it doesn't necessarily change for more happiness. It can change for things a lot worse. But if you find a happiness that doesn't change, a happiness that is totally satisfactory, then you know you've devoted your life to a good purpose. So that's the Buddha's answer that he would recommend, saying that it is possible to find true happiness, and you can do it through your efforts. You don't have to wait for somebody else to bring it along to you. It's up to you to make the choice and up to you to carry it through. Whatever choice you make, you've got to live with the consequences. This is one of the reasons why I meditate and get the mind still, so you can start thinking about what kind of life you really would like, what kind of purpose you really do have, which purposes are worth holding on to, which purposes are worth putting aside. As we come into this world, largely because we saw we had the chance. We didn't read the fine print. We didn't read all the conditions. We come here and we find, oh, we have conditions like aging, illness, and death. Not the sort of things you would want to sign on for, but we did. But then given the fact that life is short, but we do have this ability to train our minds to find happiness. You can tell yourself the best purpose in life is to find that happiness and act in ways that will head in that direction. And anything that heads in another direction, you can ask yourself, is this really, really where I want to go? Again, you have the choice. The world is clamoring for, for you to side with them on their issues. But you have to realize your big issue is you want to find a happiness that doesn't harm anybody at all. You're not harmed, no one else is harmed. And a, harm, a happiness that lasts, it doesn't change. We're so used to things changing that we think that happiness lies in the fact that things can change. But the Buddha says when you find the ultimate happiness, any change would be for the worse. So you stay with what you've got, and you find that it's totally satisfactory. That's when you know you've chosen well. So think about your choices, because they do have consequences, and you have the freedom to make good choices. So take advantage of that freedom.